okay good morning everyone so yesterday i have uh, shown you how to uh, create a for and key relationship and how to use the check tables so let's create one more example today and i'll show you how to add value table as well so we have used uh, <clears throat> employee department and employee department mapping tables right to create the foreign key relationship what is a value table what is a value table can you tell me what is a value table it, it validates uh, domain levels no? yes so value table is for domain level validation it will provide possible values for the table field right so you are using data uh, this domain in a data element right if you assign that data element to any field so whatever the uh, values available in the domain will be applicable to that table field okay if you reuse the same data element in multiple tables so whatever the values available in the domain level will be automatically applicable for that every table field okay so it's called domain level validation it enforces the user to select only the values which are configured in the domain level okay so there is another uh, advantage of using value table <coughs> it will propose the check table automatically If you have already configured the value table right in the domain level, if you are using the data element to the table field, when you are trying to assign foreign key relationship, you don't need to search for the check table. You don't need to enter manually. It will automatically propose the check table. Let's see how that will happen. <coughs> so what is uh, uh, check table check table is a field level validation we assign check table in the field level right so where uh, uh, whereas a value table we assign in the domain level but if you take the check table we assign this in the field level so it acts as the field level validation okay like not like do, not like uh, domain like if you reuse the same data element in multiple table fields it will automatically applicable uh, to the, all the table fields right but here in the check table you need to assign it manually okay you need to assign for each table field you need to assign the foreign key relationship for each table field okay <clears throat> so what are the rules uh, to use a uh, check table or foreign key relationship data element name of check table and foreign key table should be 
same right what is the second rule field should be a primary key in the check table okay the field for example employee id if you are assigning foreign key relationship for the employee id that employee id field should be a primary key in the check table that is mandatory So this can be a primary key or non-primary key in the foreign key table. Okay, but that should be a primary key field in the check table. That is mandatory. Okay, is everyone clear? It's a very important interview question. Now let's assign the foreign key relationship. So yesterday we have already assigned the foreign key relationship, right? I, I will I will uh, delete the foreign key. I'll delete the foreign key relationship for. Uh, employee id and department id i have deleted and activated and activate first i'll assign value table in the domain level and then i'll try foreign key relationship so you, whoever uh, see this warning right you can ignore it okay you can just display no or if you press f just go back okay it's not a error it's a warning i'll show you why that warning is coming uh, there is concept called enhancement category we need to provide that enhancement category option okay but it won't stop you to activate the table it's just a warning you can ignore it for now okay so i've deleted the foreign keys now what is the domain for uh, employee id this one right z test emp id this is the domain right if you go to value range when we use fixed values when we have some limited uh, values like uh, gender weeks so these kind of values we can configure in the fixed values because in future there is no changes uh, required for that if you enter uh, weeks right seven weeks there is no possibility after five years or six years so we are going to change the weeks number of weeks right it is always constant defined value right so when we go for interval if we know the exact number of uh, range right whatever the range we want to allow we can configure here but if you think there is a possibility of changing the values in near future you may need to update the values every time maybe most frequently then these are these two are not suitable fixed values are valuable because every time you need to change the domain you need to open the domain and you need to change the domain and you need to enter the value and you need to activate the domain and you need to send uh, this change to test system and production system every time this needs to be happen whenever you need to add a value right but if you take a value table option if you take a value table option you don't need to change any technical objects like domains and data elements you can simply go to the value table and create a entry for example what is this uh, domain employee id right for example actually we will create a separate table with employee id as a primary key and we maintain all the employee IDs over there, right? For example, uh, Z test employee. This is the employee master data table, right? I've configured the I've configured it as a value table. Activate it. What is the primary key of this value table? Employee ID, right? Employee ID is the only primary key here. Please remember. So I've assigned a value table. Now go back. I'll go to the domain level. Uh, sorry, I'll, I'll try to create any entries. Press employee ID. Oh, sorry, create entries. Table contents, create entries. Maybe I need to delete the rest of the fields. I need to keep only employee ID. But now, I'll try to assign the foreign key relationship. I'll try to assign the foreign key relationship. Currently, I'm in employee department table where we are mapping 
employee id and department id is it mandatory to have a primary key employee id as a primary key here in this table is it mandatory yes sir no it is not mandatory it is not a check table right it is a foreign key table it is not mandatory right depends on your uh, business scenario sometimes it can be a primary key or other times it, it may not be a primary key okay in foreign key table it may or may not be a primary key right let me delete it as primary key for now a removed primary key right so there is one existing table there is one existing table with some primary keys later i change it that primary key I make it as a non-primary key and try to activate. It is showing this error. Error occurred when activating. So where we need to activate the table again? Check this help to understand more about this. There is no more data, more uh, information about this. So I have already explained you where we need to activate this. Whenever we change the data type of the field or whenever we change the primary key of the field, where we need to activate this? SC14. Yes. You need to go to database utility. SC14. Database utility. Here, you need to activate. Select the table. Activate and adjust. <coughs> activate and adjust database. Okay activate and adjust database if you want to delete the complete data then select uh, delete data option if you want to just adjust the existing data it will adjust the data earlier the data is maintained based on two primary keys right now we have deleted one primary key now we have deleted one primary key now the data records available in the table will be adjusted as per the primary key combination so duplicate records will be deleted automatically okay Depends on the existing primary key. Now activate and adjust. Activate and adjust the database table. So it will adjust the database records. Earlier if you see 10 records in the table. Now it might be adjusted to 4 records. Depends on the existing primary key combination. Since the department is the only primary key, it will uh, adjust the records as per uh, department ID value. Earlier we have multiple records, maybe more than 6-7 records in the table. But now we have only 2 records because it will accept records only by the primary key. Since we deleted the employee ID as primary key, it adjusted the records. Now I am assigning a foreign key relationship for employee ID. Now select the field and assign foreign key. What it is showing? Earlier we, did, earlier we didn't observe this. Because since we assigned the value table, it is automatically proposing the check table. Z test employee as a check table. If you, are, if you want to continue with this, select S. Or if you think uh, this is not the suitable check table, click no and enter manually. Click S. Since it is a correct check table, it is automatically proposing the uh, check table for this. Since we have already assigned the value table. Okay. So what you have observed, it is not necessary to have a primary key in the foreign key table, right? Employee ID should not be, a, uh, it is not necessary to be a primary key in the foreign key table, but it should be a primary key in check table. This employee ID should, field should be a primary key in check table, okay? So what is foreign key table here? Z-test employee ID department. Employee department is the foreign key table here. Check table is Z-test employee master data table. So in the check table, Employee ID should be a primary key. In foreign key table, it is optional. It depends on the scenario. Sometimes it might be a primary key or not. So I'm making it as a primary key because we need to maintain multiple employees for each department. Right? Activate it again. If you see any error, what you need to do? You need to activate and adjust the database table in database utility. Right? So for department ID also, let's assign a value table. What is the master table for uh, department? I think Z test DEPT. Instead of maintaining manually in the fixed values, you can uh, add it in the value table. Now, if I want to add any values, new values, what I need to do? 
go to this table if i want to add new um, new departments you don't need to change any domain right go to value table create entries create one more department simply create one more department transport department right it will add one more department and the same value will be applicable to domain level validation right so user can see this additional value also without changing the domain you don't need to change the domain just go to the table and create the new entry when you have a value table configured in the domain level okay is everyone clear is everyone clear now let's assign the foreign key for department id it should automatically propose it is automatically proposing the check table for this okay so we assign the foreign key relationship is everyone clear for your understanding let me create one more table i'm creating employee salary table display and maintenance allowed fields what are the fields required in the employee salary table employee id as a primary key since we are already having employee id data element use it okay <coughs> what are the other fields required date salary date you can also use existing standard data elements if any if any standard data element is available you can uh, start using it or for now i'll just create my own uh, data element zs sal it is not available let me create create it quickly what are the primary keys required for this table employee id salary date Yeah. Okay. I did not enter the domain. Let me create domain as well. is not available so that i am creating a new domain date date right we need to select d a t s which is available in y y y y y m m d d format you can see other data type also d a t n but is that is different one right it will maintain the data in a different format right You need to select DATS, which which will maintain data in year, month, and day format, and it will automatically convert the output date into ten. It will automatically add the separator. Okay, activate the domain. Go back. Activate the data element. Go back, and it should be a primary key. Now, let's say I need a department also. in the salary table but this is not uh, required because we can find the department of the employee in other table right we already having the, we are already having that table but just want to show you so we can add uh, primary key, sorry foreign key and the non primary key fields as well z test department id but it's not a primary key okay but it's not a primary key value salary it's a amount field double click okay looks like see 
observe here what it is saying of you i'm using data element name as z test salary what it is saying z test salary is already defined as a structure or table it is not allowing this name what is the table name you have taken z test salary right what is the data element name i have entered same name i am taking same name so it is not accepting same name for uh, data element and uh, table please observe it. so you can you can use same name for domain and data element you can use same name but it is not allowing same name for data element and uh, table name it is not allowing to repeat the same name for, for two different objects that is table name and data element name okay that's why i am changing the name to jet sal <clears throat> salary ZSL. I'm creating a domain as well for, for technical attributes. So for now, I'll take uh, integer because there is some dependency of taking the uh, pack decimal. We need to use. We need to maintain quantity and uh, currency reference fields. Okay, I'll show you in the next session. For now, I'll take it as an integer so that I don't need to maintain the currency and quantity fields. Activate the data element. Go back. Now, is, is it a primary key? Department ID, is it a primary key? Do we need to assign any foreign key relationships here? Now, this is the employee salary table, right? This is the employee salary table. Do we need to assign any foreign key relationships in this table? If yes, what are the fields we need to assign? Can you hear me? For which fields we need to assign foreign key relationship? Please respond. Department ID yeah. for employee ID, we need to assign foreign key relationship. What is the check table for employee ID field? Now, currently, in which table we are in? Jet test salary table, right? It's a salary table, it might be a transaction table. Now, what is the check table for employee ID field? Jet test employee, employee, master data. employee master data table. It, it is automatically proposing because we added it as a value table in the domain level. Yes, copy. Assign the foreign key relationship for employee ID and department ID. Is it a primary key? It's a non-primary key, right? Z test salary table is a foreign key table. Currently, it is a foreign key table. What is the check table for department ID? Z Sorry. Did I use wrong data element? Sorry, I've used... Uh, wrong data element that's why it is proposing department id sorry employee id field now assign the foreign key for department id it is automatically proposing the table since we have already added the value table right if the value table is not added you need to assign it manually okay let's assume we did not add it we did not add the foreign key uh, sorry value table i enter the table name manually and create proposal as long as the data element name is same for both table fields it will automatically propose the fields okay activate the table sorry we did not maintain the technical settings so data class appl1 size category 0 go back click on no this is for enhancement category your table is activated now you can maintain the data in this table so we are getting some warning right about enhancement category let me try to activate again 
click on yes to display the warning message what it is saying enhancement category for the table is missing so enhancement category for include or subtype is missing so it is saying enhancement category is uh, missing so let's add enhancement category go to extras go to table extras enhancement category select this option select this option so you have can be enhanced can be enhanced with only character and numeric data cannot be enhanced cannot be enhanced that means in future it is not going to allow you to add more fields for this table or can be enhanced means you can freely add any number of fields in future can be enhanced character or numeric data means so you can add only character type data or numeric data for this table in future okay as a new field as a one more additional field okay for now i am selecting can be enhanced without any restrictions activate the table that warning is gone okay from now on uh, you let that you cannot see that warning message if you maintain the enhancement category where you can find the enhancement category extras enhancement category maintain the enhancement category for the future enhancement purpose okay is everyone clear you try to maintain any data in this table create entries so the values will be employee id values will be allowed from check table values whatever the records available in the check table only those employee ids you can select here and for department id whatever the ids that are maintained in the department master data only those values are allowed to enter in this table okay it won't allow any random value okay right so it will apply field level validation whenever you apply the foreign key relationship is everyone clear on this is everyone clear sir in the salary table when it comes to year we need to add the uh, salary year and salary month also no? uh, then you need to add two different fields like salary year and salary month for year one one field and for one, one month other field but if you take a salary date it is a complete date right the value will be like this right if you take uh, uh, two different fields like month and year the data will be maintained like this right then you need to create two different fields for year and month but if you take date complete date now you can maintain like this for example there is there is another scenario where you need to get salary uh, maybe uh, every two weeks every two weeks you need to receive some salary it is not possible right it won't accept because year is same and month is same right but you are receiving salary for every two weeks so in the same month you cannot insert one more record right but if you take complete date date field so it will maintain the data like this 2509 2024 2609 2024 the values will be maintained like this okay you don't need to take two different fields for year and month that's why i have taken date field date is complete date with year month and date okay any questions so the important interview questions about uh, check table and value table and how to assign a foreign key relationship right what are the rules to assign the foreign key relationship these are the important interview questions and about the enhancement category okay